Queen Elizabeth has been advised to go easier on herself ahead of the Platinum Jubilee. We've got all the details in today's Us Daily. A source tells us that her loved ones have told her not to push herself, even if it means missing more functions. They add her attendance at these events is being handled on a case-by-case -case basis. So if she isn't 100% on any given day that she's due to be somewhere in person, then she turns the duties over to someone else, be that Prince Charles or another serving senior royal who's available to handle matters in her steed. Her Majesty always follows up to apologize if she cannot attend and tries to find a way to make it up to people. Now, the Queen has missed several public appearances recently, with Buckingham Palace saying that it is episodic mobility issues. She has been seen walking with a cane and contracted COVID back in February. A source tells us the COVID incident was tough on her. She got very fatigued from it and is still adjusting to her routine and charging up her batteries even now. The other factors here is that she wanted to be as close to full strength as possible for the Jubilee celebrations, which she's been looking forward to immensely. By not overexerting herself, it's giving her more energy to participate in as many of the events as possible. Now, the Queen recently stepped out at Paddington Station for the opening of the Elizabeth Line and attends in the Windsor Horse Show. Elizabeth appeared to be in a jolly mood throughout the weekend activities at the horse show, and Her Majesty not only watched her horse's parade in one of the processions, but also saw her granddaughter, Lady Louise Windsor, arrive in the late Prince Philip's carriage. Additionally, the Queen was feted with a speech from Helen Mirren and honored by other A-listers, including Tom Cruise. Now, she recently opted to skip the state opening of Parliament, and in her 70 years on the throne, her absence marked just the third time she missed the event. Her oldest son, Prince Charles, instead recited the the Queen's speech on Her Majesty's behalf.